Bowie, Masher, Cumberland, the Badlands. Uh-oh. Probably, uh, some say the worst section of Philadelphia. Uh, Kensington Ave. It's only a, fl a few blocks that way. Uh, we're going towards the nonsense and tomfoolery of the no good nicks passed out in the streets. Uh, but we're not, we're going a little west today. And this is where, um, I don't know. I listen, I'll be honest with you. I don't go in the Badlands that much. So this is going to be a fun tour. See, uh oh. Look at this bench. Uh oh. That's, if that's a sign of things to come. A broken, I mean, is it? Hey, I got some people grilling out in the corner. So my man has a little grill and he's making hot dogs and hamburgers for, you know, a little side hustle. Check it out. There it is. Huntington and Hancock. You got a lot of side hustles in this section. Um, yeah, I guess we want to go towards number streets. Said nobody ever in the history of going to the Badlands. A um, lot of side hustles. A lot of, like, car washes. Uh-oh. What's this? Oh, is it? Uh, candles lit? Um... A lot of violent crime in the Badlands. A lot of uh, shootings. Uh, a lot of drug dealing. Uh, a lot of, a lot of, you know, everything that you don't want, they got. All right, let's do it. Uh oh, look at this street. All right, where are we? Is this Lehigh? This is Lehigh. All right. Stay in the bike lane. You know who I always feel bad for in these, these neighborhoods are the people who have to work at, like, the fast food places, like at McDonald's or, or at, like, a, a Dollar General, because they don't, they don't change the pay rate because you're dealing with goofballs and violent crime all the time and snatching runs and shoplifting. And those things happen everywhere. They just happen a lot more here. Dare I? Dare I go down the number street to Indiana Ave? I will. Fuck it. Let's do it. This is an old pen fruit. Used to be a cousin. There, there it is. There's not, that's the side hustle car wash I was talking about. They pop up all over the city. They just get a bucket of water and they pop open the, uh, the back of the van and they wash cars. As Padlands plays in my ears. Bruce Springsteen. I'm listening to the song. My inspiration for today. A lot of vacant spaces. It will soon be developed. That lot will soon be... And I mean, I don't know when. In the next decade, people will be developing in this area. I'm sure it's already happening. Here's Somerset Street. Uh-oh. How we doing scooter-wise battery? How we doing battery? On this, uh, who, who we talking to? Let's just go. I'm amazed by how many little back streets there are with kind of reminds me of like some of the yards that were like uh, Fat Albert and the gang come on let's do it Cambria speak it look at this see eh? There it is. Fred Albert's in his, uh, there's his, uh, yard. Wood is so <laughs> valuable. The guy's collecting wet wood. Look at these houses. Wow. Cambria Street. Where are we at? Fourth and Cambria? Check out these houses. Aren't 
stay nice. A little color. I'm going to tell you right now, my sketch meter is really low. And, and, that, and on the, wow, these houses are beautiful. They got that different bricks in the in between the windows. That's something I've never really seen. I know. Oh, here it is. I do know if you go down, I think, 5th Street, which is the next block, there's a lot of artificial palm trees. And the reason they're, they're there is because a lot of the people who live in this area are from Puerto Rico. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at a number in Indiana. Wow, third in Indiana. I believe second in... There was... Oh, shit. One of these streets was like the highest Doug... Dr, Doug... Doug Street? <laughs> They're dealing my friend Doug. Drug... Oh, my God. Is that a rooster? Um, Boy, Scooter, I wish you would do a little bit faster than six today. Um, one of these intersections was the biggest drug dealing intersection in the entire city. Uh, maybe I'm just looking in the wrong spots. I don't see any. Ow, uh oh. Check out this. Look at that. Hey! Uh-oh. Well, you guys look a lot healthier than my other... Ch wow, you are, are the healthiest thing. Nah. <laughs> uh oh. There it is, fifth in Indiana, going down the palm trees. It got a little sketchy right there. Uh, small businesses, you got beauty salons, uh, doctor's offices, restaurants. Uh, flea markets, a flea market. Convenience stores. Uh, laundry mat, very fantastic. Look at this. There's the, uh, from Frozen. Yeah, and there's the, uh, fake palm trees. Uh-oh. Oh, turn it up, please, turn it up. I can make out every word, but if <laughs> fucking fifth and Cambria. Oh, look at this car. Historic Fair Hill Burial Ground. Oh, it's a Quaker cemetery. Oh, wow. It's locked up, so there's no need to bury. Bury. Uh, 
there's no need to open up the app to see who's buried there because you can't go in and see anyway. So what's the point? Look at that building. Uh, oh shit, where's that? So I don't know, I'm Germantown in Indiana is where I'm at. Uh, so many people buried in the cemetery worked to end slavery and fought for equality. Isn't that nice? Uh, oh, you know what? What's great? There's a mural across the street. It tells you about the people who were buried in there. Okay, let's go tonight. Uh, a few of who are great, uh, a few, Harriet Tubman, she's not buried there. Uh, the Underground Railroad was led to help free, blah, 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 blah. oh, I don't know what, this is talking about the Underground Railroad, okay. A lot of Underground Railroad stops, especially on Germantown Ave, which is where I'm at. You go down, there's the Johnson House, which was a big part of the Underground Railroad. Um, oh, we got a historical marker. Very odd. Fair Hill Burial Grounds, Quaker. Established in 1703, 03, enlarged, redesigned in 1843. Resting place for Larissa Mott, Robert Purvis, another 19th century who struggled to abolish slavery. I think I know that name, Robert Purvis. I don't know why. Uh, African and Native American of all... Okay, so people who fought for freedom of slavery. Now, the first protest against slavery um, happened on Germantown Ave. Uh, I guess about two, three miles that way. Oh, Scooter, you can't do eight miles an hour. We're in the Badlands, don't you know? <laughs> oh, this is... Oh. Oh, man, why do I know that name, Robert? Oh, damn it. Yeah, this place... This, this is all going to get developed. See, there they go. They're going to make a 33 apartment building thing there. Da -da. This is St. Bona Beecher's Parochial School. Tonight's the night. A little community garden. Yeah. Now, you see all these lots? This is what the neighborhood of Fishtown. Lots were everywhere. They got a little, that's awesome. You go, my buddy runs a farm a few blocks that way. It's called the Life Do Grow Farm. It's like a, it's not only a farm. It's like a place where people can hang out, listen to music, and uh, they have all types of programs. I, uh, you know, I, I, my, there was a astronomy course that I took there, and I saw the rings of uh, Saturn. Is that right? The Saturn had the rings? I think so. Ninth in Somerset. Let's do it. That's a mural of Teresa Joyner. And then... You got this little mural here. <laughs> I'm gonna guess this is a newer mu uh, mu mural with the guy doing a selfie. There's a... 
guy celebrating 420. Eighth in Somerset. What is that big building? What was this? The veterans. Look at that. That's. I was like, they're handing the guy a car. Maybe this was like a union thing. They're like, that's weird. I don't know if we ever had a car making, a car factory in Philadelphia. I don't think we did. I've never heard of a car being made in Philly. Seventh in Somerset. Here we are. Na, 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 na. All right, this, I think this is probably the worst part we saw so far. All this litter, but that's that's a problem everywhere. There's the Fair Hill School. I don't know if it's open still. I'm assuming it's not with all the trash there. Back on Fairhill, trying not to repeat the same street, so. Oh shit, oh, I almost died in the Philadelphia pothole. Oh my fucking god. Start working our way back to the car. Now, doesn't that guy look like? Oh, I don't know if you're going to see him behind the pole. That guy looks just like Ray Liotta. All right. Oh, I hope you guys got to see that. He looked just like Ray Liotta. George Decay turned 25. I'm not 25. I wish he turned 25 so we could have him longer. He turned 85. I hope when I look at, when I turn 85, I, I look half as good as he does. 4th and Somerset. Another community garden. Some more murals. Philadelphia has more murals than any other city in the world. Uh, you can see, and the reason why people put murals up, well, sometimes in these areas, they'll put murals where somebody was murdered, or they'll put murals where, I don't know, somebody used to work or whatever. Uh, and they're not, they're not sanctioned by the city. And then the city will put up murals sometimes, and they're sanctioned. Is this one sanctioned by the city? No. There's another mural. But the reason why they paint the murals is supposed to stop uh, graffiti vandalism. And uh, it's supposed to give you a little bit of uh, pride on your block. If your block has a mural, you look out after the mural.
street's this? American Street. Let's do it. We got a bike lane? Holy shit. This must be like fast food corner. You got Wendy's, Checkers, and McDonald's. Gun to my head. If I had to pick one, I go to Wendy's. Not even a gun to my head. I would go to Wendy's before. And then I would go to Checkers and then McDonald's. Uh, Checkers has the best French fries. Um, and their food's okay. Uh, McDonald's. I, don't, I just don't like McDonald's. There were there was like a period of my life I went like nine years without eating McDonald's because it would make me vomit. So I stopped eating McDonald's. Uh, what was the sandwich I would get? It was like a sandwich. They would keep the cool side cool. They would keep like the lettuce, the buns, and the tomato. The McDLT. Was that what it was called? The McDLT? It would keep the, like, the lettuce, the tomato, all the cool shit in the one side of the styrofoam container. And then they would put the meat and all the stuff that should be hot on the other side. And I would get that, and it always made me sick. So why would I get that? Like, I got it two or three times, and then I was like, that's it, I'm done. I'm done with this McDonald's. I could have just changed my... Uh... Tell you. I'll tell you something, y'all. That, that Howard Stern, what the hell? The world is yours and everything in it. <laughs> See, they needed to paint a mural in this truck, but they uh, they didn't. They uh, So now people gra graffiti and vandalized all over it. There, there are... There's a beer distributor in my neighborhood, and I don't know who did it, but one one got one day a guy just graffitied a bunch of shit on the, the beer distributor. Not not even an ad for the beer distributor, just like like shit like this. Right, stuff like that. It's not. The work, the work, it is the working life. Man. mural right there that's a beer distributor now in pennsylvania they have this weird law you can buy beer in one store and then if you want to buy hard liquor you have to go to a state store or a, a liquor um a, a hard liquor store you know so you got to go to the state store i think they're passing legislation that end that um i don't know I, I i i don't know how i feel about that it doesn't matter to me i don't drink hard liquor so i don't give a shit um marijuana became legal in the state of new jersey today and you can go over to new jersey and buy pot legally and uh you can, uh, even if you don't live in Jersey. So that, that will be a video sometime soon, going to New Jersey to buy the weed. See, I got a guy, right? I got a guy, just, he comes to the house sometimes. Sometimes I go, you know, we go to his place. It doesn't matter, you know? We just, I don't need to go to New Jersey. I also think the prices at the weed stores are higher. So, you know... They, they go, the, 
the the weed people they're they're uh, the people who sell the weed at the weed stores they're weed snobs i fucking hate weed snobs where they go oh this is a strand uh it's called uh you know og face and the purple haze and uh you know i i, I just i just i i have never smoked anything and ever asked what's what's this called? oh what's this called it's called pot, stupid. Like, set it on fire and smoke it and then uh, have a few chuckles. That's what I say. This is Norris Square. I believe we are out of the Badlands. Uh oh. We are having fun. Holy shit, look at this house. Here is Norris Square Presbyterian Church, founded in 1807. Huh. Looking for a cornerstone. I don't see a cornerstone. Oh, what's this? Here's another roadside memorial. Rest in peace, Frankie. Justice for Frankie. Usually when you see the memorials, like I said, that's the spot where, especially when you see those ones, that's the spot somebody was killed. Um, the one we opened up this tour with, uh... That was actually a properly maintained roadside memorial. It had, uh, it was covered in glass. It looks like it was, uh, uh, like usually what happens is people come to a thing and they'll, they'll leave a bunch of teddy bears and candles and balloons and then they'll never go back to the spot ever again. And then, look at this. The old Dale Jr. car. You know, I don't watch NASCAR as much as I used to. I don't even know if Budweiser sponsors cars anymore. Look at this mural, this mural. I tell you, they got, if you're ever on acid, I highly recommend a trip to the Badlands and watch the murals. Holy shit, look at this work of art. You got Shredder. Oh, well, Krang, you got Krang, you got the Ninja Turtles. That's a, that's very good. You know what I like about that? That's kind of like my Ninja Turtles. You ever see the uh, the new Ninja Turtles? Horrible. <laughs> There's a mural somewhere around here. It's not that far. I can't. I'm not gonna go look for it. But it's a squirrel eating a SEPTA token. Uh, we're all the way up here. Yeah, we're at Rocky Five locations. This is the um, this is a uh, Mighty's Mix Gym from uh, the Rocky movies. This is where. Tommy Gunn and Rocky met for the first time. Uh, that's a bar from Rocky Five. It's actually a pizza restaurant. 
Um, that's where to uh, Tommy Gunn pushes Pauly down. And uh, uh, Duke Washington goes, in the ring, in the ring. Tommy Gunn only fights in the ring. And Rocky Balboa goes, oh, my, my ring's outside. This is the location of uh, the pet shop where Rocky and Adrian met. They knocked it down recently. Um, uh, Adrian, would, the counter was over there on that side. And uh, Rocky, you know, Buckus was over there. And now it's nothing. I think, where is this? Is this Front Street or Kensington Ave? Man, I smell something good. Somebody's cooking, frying up some bacon. The Muslim Society of uh, Philadelphia, right there. How about that? Oh, oh my God, this is the location of something very, very sad. Um... It was the day of the Hurricane Ida flooding. Uh, there was, so the, the hurricane came and there was really bad, you know, it was a hurricane. So the storm and the city got flooded. See that fucking dirt ball just throw her shit in the fucking ground? Fucking pig. Um, so they were building this building. And when they were building this building, uh, there was a big hole in the ground. Uh, they were building the foundation, but there were there was a house here, uh, and there was a donut shop there, and uh, they both collapsed because they were building this building. They said that the um, the water down in the pit where they were burying the foundation got wet, and the the buildings collapsed. And the donut shop that was here that collapsed. Look at this, yeah, this dirt ball. She had this thing here, this Mike and Ike's. She came out of the store, threw it on the ground. If only there was a fucking trash can four feet away. Fucking dirt balls, man. Look at that. Big tribute to the, uh, chickens on Kensington and Somerset. They got a mural. That's why we can't have nice things, because dirt balls can't walk a foot to put a fucking... Ugh. Okay, we're a block away from the car. Well, we made it. We're alive. We're well. And uh, we did the Badlands. Uh, if you made it this far, do me a favor. If you made it this far... In the comments, just write all the way club. Um, you know, I'm making videos a little bit longer than usual. So I just kind of like to see who made it all the way. Also, if you made it this way and you're not a subscriber, come on. Come on, cuz. You made it this far. Hit the subscribe button. Why not? We're going to be doing some more scoots, some more places uh, around the city. Um, we're going to be, that was my first car, an 86 Monte Carlo. Um, the, uh, what we got coming up? The Phillies got another six-game homestand. Uh, so, uh, I'm going back to the ballpark. That's going to be fun. And, uh, you know, it's good. It's good. It's going to be a good time. We're going to cut through this parking lot here. Uh, so if you like this video, do me, oh, do me a favor. Slow the fuck down. If you like this video, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up. And while you're at it, hit subscribe. Don't forget to check out my merch. I really do have merch. Get yourself a No Good Nick t-shirt. Get yourself a Rick the Puppy t-shirt. Get yourself a Ben Simmons You Stink and I Don't Like You t-shirt. Uh, I mentioned the t-shirts. Patreon. I got a Patreon. Uh, you get bonus videos. If you're a Patreon member, keep an eye out on your inbox. I sent you a new video today. My weekly walk to work featuring Gary Brown. Woo! Also, you get postcards. I mail you a postcard. 
and uh, you know some other stuff too. No, not really. That's it. You get bonus videos and postcards. Uh, not doing anything with Sunday morning? Why not join me for a cup of coffee here, live on YouTube? Just click that join button. You get to join me every week on cup of coffee. Plus, you get to play Quizzo, which I host every Wednesday night. part here this is where the L has to make a turn and one time oh I forget when but the L got this rail making that turn and it <laughs> had to get put I used to have it must have happened when I was a kid because I used to be terrified of getting stuck on the L and have to walk the you know I had I was riddled with anxiety as a child I was also when I would take the L with my mom I would be terrified when we had to get off the L. I was always afraid that my mom was going to get off the L and for some reason not take me and I would be stuck on the L for the rest of my life. Oh my God. Now looking back on it, I've been that shit crazy for years. Uh, did I mention that Patreon, cup of coffee, join.